Town demands, if you please, Mr. Frank. What is this point of law that occurred to you, Vicar? Well, well sir, uh, would this arch smuggler, knowing that the prisoners were false to him, as undoubtedly he did, would he waste 20 kegs of expensive spirit to bait his trap? I, I wondered if the contents of the kegs had been examined. If indeed they contain contraband, then of course the prisoners must stand condemned. But uh, should they not be examined first? Has counsel for the Crown any objection to this? No. No, of course not. Beadle. Go and open the cage. Uh, General, I trust I can rely on the protection of your troops for coming forward after this threat to my safety. Of course, of course. Worship, the kegs are filled with seawater. Every one we've tried. Seawater? Sea water? There is no law in England that can hang a man or even imprison him for carrying kegs of water. <laughs> <laughs> you were a fool and now I know you are. You bungled this whole business. Yes, General. Trying to take the law into your own hands. Get out of my sight. Report back to Dover Castle. Thank you, Vicar. Thank you for what you've done. You've escaped the law, Ransley, but your scarecrow leader won't let you escape him, nor any of his men who know you for a traitor if you stay in this district. You'd best get away as far as you can. Cut off this hook, but you're still on mine, Ransley. You've till tonight, that's all. Keep close watch on Ransley. Off you go. And you can watch Mr. Frank, the prosecutor. Mrs. Waggett, please. Well, this case you came down for must have been a great disappointment to you, sir. And who might you be? Me, sir? Uh, Mr. Mipps, sir. He's sexton and verger, carpenter and undertaker. And what is more, right-hand man in matters spiritual and otherwise to the vicar, Dr. Sin. Indeed. You seem to mind every kind of business, except your own. Oh, that's very good, sir. <laughs> very good. If you want to know anything about anyone in these parts, I'm the man to come to. And being a servant of the church, the soul of discretion, and on the side of the law. Hmm. Well, I suppose you'll be on your way back to London tomorrow, now that your business here is over. Perhaps it isn't, Mr. Mipps. Perhaps it isn't. Oh, allow me, sir. It's an honor for me. Thank you. Your very good health, sir. 
Yes, I felt for you in the court today. Did you? Hmm. Well, and your very good health, too. You say you're on the side of the law, Sexton. Well, naturally I am, sir. The law was thwarted today. You'll realize that. Ah, oh, that Ransler's a villain, sir. A villain. It is a wicked miscarriage of justice. How far away does this Ransley live? Oh, about an hour's ride on a good horse, sir. Can you get me a good horse without all the world knowing tonight? Tonight, sir? Why tonight? Can you get me a good horse, Sexton? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I can, I can get that for you, sir. But, um, mum's the word, eh? I'll meet you at the fork in the sea road in half an hour. I'll have the horse for you there, right? Oh, well. I'm for home and bed. Good night, Mrs. Waggett. Good night, sir. Good night, boy. Good night, Mrs. It's you, eh? What do you want with me? To talk to you. The prosecutor's just gone in. I know, I followed him here. Are all the Ranzers there? No, only him. The boys have run away and the old lady's gone. How can we hear what's going on? Well, this door leads to the kitchen. I'm getting out of here. Run away? Where are you going to run? This scarecrow fellow or his followers will stop you going. Unless you stop them first. Your life isn't worth that. Unless I help you. Which I won't do. Without you help me. You can't touch me now. You can't try me twice for the same offence. You were acquitted by a trick. You didn't know there was water in those kegs. The scarecrow knew it, Ransley. And if he knew that, he knows you plan to run. I've got to run. Not only from him and the others. General Pugh's after me, too. General Pugh? Put me in jail. Unless I turn King's evidence. You tell me what I want to know. And I'll offer you something much better than that. What do you mean? The reward for your leader, Ransley. Give me the names of the rest of your gang so that I can bring them to trial. Ah, and get me throat cut for certain. You'll get it cut if you stay. And if you run. Oh, leave me alone, can't you? Listen to me. The Department of Revenue will protect you if you talk. I can't talk! They won't even know it was you. And even if they did, you'll be a hundred miles away with enough money to start another life. They'll kill me for sure. They won't know. You won't even have to appear in court. Your written statement's all I need, and the signal system, and the hiding places for your loot. That'll do you no good. I don't know who the scarecrow is. He'll come forward when we've hanged a few of his men, or someone will give him up. You leave that to me. Give me some names, Ransley. You owe him nothing. And you can buy your freedom. You... the Scarecrow... General Pugh... You're driving me out of my head. 
talk, and there'll be 999 more like this. The reward, you fool. Keep out of General Pew's way. Bring your list of names to me. Twenty will do. I'll meet you this time tomorrow night at the castle ruins, and you can have the rest. Then you will be safe. Safe from General Pew because you'll have done your duty. And safe from all the rest as well. Fail me, and you are finished. Nobody will know. Nobody. Prosecutor, what do you want at this hour? I thought you left on the London mail coach. I'll leave when my business here is finished. You called me incompetent after today's fiasco. I've come to tell you that I'll make you eat those words. You have, have you? And how will you make me do that? By bringing to justice enough of the smugglers here to smash the Scarecrow gang. And probably catch him too. Just like that, eh? Well, well, well. And when will this haul take place, may I ask? This time tomorrow night. Oh. I want to make sure you'll be here to help me. Help you? How? Supply me with an armed escort when I go to round up these criminals. I don't imagine they'll come along without a struggle, General. What have you found out, lawyer? Have a squadron of your troops ready, standing by, at the old monastery, tomorrow night at this hour. And I'll tell you then. I'll show you, General. Tomorrow night at this hour, eh? Very well, I'll ride with the troops myself. Thank you. Good night to you, General. Mr. Fred! I hope this time you've not bitten off more than you can chew. It's a good thing there are more brains in my profession than the evidence would seem to show there are in yours. Good night again. <laughs> Ransley will sell us all, you can be sure of that. Selling the freedom, even the lives of 20 of his fellow marshmen won't bother him. We should stop him now. Get rid of him, sir. There'll be plenty willing to do it. Them as he's planning to hand over to the law. I have a better plan. One that will teach a lesson to all would-be traitors and to King George's revenue men who offer blood money. <laughs> Ransley? <laughs> Ransley?